average variable cost is the total variable cost divided by the total product and it's listed in column 5. The average variable cost for a thousand units is 30,000 Rand divided by a thousand, that's 30. For 2,000 units it's 50,000 Rand divided by 2,000, so that's 25 Rand and so on. Graphically it's represented like this. Joining the points as before, you can see that the average variable cost curve first goes down, reaches a minimum, and then starts to increase. Its curve is U-shaped, and it's this shape that we need to understand. But before we do that, we must deal with the total cost of production, and then with an important concept, the marginal cost of production. The total cost of production consists of the total fixed costs plus the total variable cost. The total cost is given in column 6. If production is zero, the total cost of production is equal to the fixed cost of 20,000 Rand, since there are no variable costs. At 1,000 units, total cost is equal to 20,000 Rand plus 30,000 Rand, giving you 50,000 Rand. For 2,000 units, total costs are 20,000 Rand plus 50,000 Rand, giving you 70,000 Rand, and so on. Now, graphically, it looks like this. The light blue areas represent the fixed cost, which we know doesn't change, staying at 20,000 Rand. And the purple areas show the variable cost. Drawing the curve, it shows what we'd expect. Total cost increases as production increases, but like the variable cost curve, it increases at a slowing rate up to a point and then rises faster after that point. We can now also calculate the average total cost and draw a diagram to represent it. The average total cost is shown in column 7 and is calculated by dividing the total cost by the total product. Graphically, it looks like this. And drawing a smooth line, we see that it first decreases, reaches a minimum, and then increases. It is also U-shaped, a bit like that average variable cost curve. We're now going to compare the average variable cost curve with the average total cost.